Sit here, the most common question I get asked is what sunblock should I use? I've had 15 years to evaluate that question and here's the answer. ISDIN, I-S-D-I-N. Link below in description, 10% off for the first purchase. Why is it the best? Medical grade, 100% mineral ultralight emulsion melts into your skin. Their scientists micronize zinc oxide so you literally can't see it on your skin. 50 SPF made for daily use on the face, decolletage, and hands. Coenzyme Q10 antioxidants and DNA repair zones that reduce inflammation and actually repair UV light damage. Available in tinted, non-tinted, and a powder. My wife loves the tinted so much she stopped using foundation. Only available online or in a doctor's office and this link only works in the United States. Literally the best sunblock I've ever put on my skin. Thanks for popping okay, by. Okay guys, Mr. Pops it here. We can see on the post neck, there was a small cyst um, that was there before she said, and all of a sudden you wake up on a weekend or something and it's red, painful, and it's time to go. <laughs> so when you feel these, you feel very hard in duration and that's the body's response to either that cyst, you know, trauma to it or the sac bursting. I do see a little pore right there, a small os. I don't think that's where the cyst originates. It could but there's a little pocket right in the middle. So I'm kind of going to split the difference between that pore and the pocket that I feel. I don't think it's a really big pocket, but it is definitely really inflamed. So doing a little bit of lidocaine on the surface to numb it and then a little 11 blade cut. We don't put stitches in. You don't want to close these because they refill right away. We do want some drainage over two to three days until that little cut heals. So the big, you know, the, the goal on these is instant relief once that pocket is drained. If we didn't do that today, within probably five to 10 days, the skin would thin more and then it would burst on its own, but she'd be miserable for those five or 10 days. And there's no reason to go through that with uh, modern medicine. <laughs> so we'll get her, um, I'm gonna numb it here so you'll see it blanch where I put in the lidocaine. We use a very small amount. Um, and as we always talk about the acid base shift where there's no way to get this whole thing numb, but we'll get it enough so she can handle the procedure with minimal discomfort. So we'll get her all ready and be right so back. So we're gonna do just a little pinches. This is the only part you'll feel hopefully. And we go very shallow. I'm just getting the bevel in, and you can see this hypervascularized area, uh, so red because of inflammation, a lot of little capillaries around there, and you can see, doing okay? Yeah. Yeah, it just stings. You can see that blanching instantly. It's a little vasoconstriction. That's very good. Nice, slow breaths there. We're Barely putting in a half a cc. We don't need much on these. That's good. Okay. So, I'm going to put just one little gauze down here if we got any runners. <laughs> really good. Feel okay? Yeah. Okay, good. So all we need on these is a simple 11 blade, little poke. Let me know if you feel anything, okay? Any sting. And we look for the pocket, right? One thing we look for also is if it's not ripe yet, there's not a lot of pus. Right there, do feel. Just a little, and then if we get the, uh, Feel some cyst or loculation right there too. You can see cyst contents there. You can almost see cyst wall. So sometimes a, you didn't have any sting with that or a little? Uh, pressure? You, just pressure just nesting. Pressure. Okay, yeah. good. Because I do sometimes have underneath the cyst is where the pocket's at. So I'm gonna give you just one more little pitch here if you might feel. Anything there? Not bad. Very good. Little sting or not bad? Just pressure? Pressure. Okay, gotcha. It hurts a little bit. Gotcha. Good. Just went a little bit deeper. If you feel lightheaded or anything, just let me know. We can lay you back. And we're just applying a little pressure here.
There it is. Ooh. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> It's like going through drywall and then you hit the pocket. <laughs> it was below the cyst like I thought. I didn't want to go down there with the 11 blade. You see, you're going to start feeling a lot better. A little pain there or not bad? A little bit, not Okay, bad. yeah, it's a deep pocket. That went right through the lining there. Okay, I'm not going to get super rough there because we hit the pocket. Cyst contents right there, you can see. This is just parts of the wall. It's an obliterated cyst, which is what we thought. Um, and boy, is she going to sleep better tonight. <laughs> that is good. That's what we're looking for. So just a little gentle pressure here. I'm going to try and get any residual fluid, deep breaths. A little pain there? A little pain. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to go too rough. And do we have the, um, some forceps? You okay? <laughs> Good. Yeah. There's just a tiny bit of cyst wall right at the entrance. I just want to see if I can pull the sack out. No pain with that. It's shallow. I'm not going down to that bottom of the pocket again. There you can see that was her pore. So now that I release that, there's a little bit coming out of that. But that was, wow, well, look at that. It's already down. The redness is almost gone. So. Okay, I can sit you down if you want. Would you like to lay back? Yeah. yeah, yeah, let's have her. You can you can pull back there. We're back on. Good. All right, we had a little vasovagal reaction break, <laughs> commercial break. And I did see right here possibly a little cyst wall. We hit the pocket. She does have a little bit of bruising here, which is normal. Um, but I'm going to try. Oh, do you have it right there? I was like, where did I, where did I do it? With? We're just going to gently at the entrance here to see if we can get any cyst wall, which I thought I saw there. If not, it's okay. A little push in here. Still a little bit of the pocket. And that's what's called loculations. Not lobulations, and those are just little pockets that are in here that we're forming around. If I'm causing any pain at all, let me know. Just doing a little search and rescue there. <laughs> Good. I know we should have fans, huh? We have fans. <laughs> good. And little grapes and stuff. <laughs> Got a little fanboy. That's right, that's right. Okay. Yeah, she just has, it's just a little pocket right around there. I'm not getting much of a wall. We got a little bit out with the first push. I'm gonna push just a little if you can handle, okay? You okay? Yes. Okay, there was a little bit below. She's doing great. So it was just a little bit more in that deeper pocket. A little bit there. I'm just going a little bit towards the bottom if you can handle it. Okay. Great, you're doing great. We'll layer back down too if she needs a little, because that was another loculation there. Just a little pocket over to the side. And that was actually a fairly impressive abscess. It had a it's multi floor. <laughs> a little bit there? Yeah. Okay. Bit. Yeah, I'm right at the bottom. I just wanted to make sure because you had a little pocket right where the cyst was. Good. And we don't need to get too rough on this. And the white I saw, I don't think was cyst lining, actually. That looks like it was. 
just a little bit of pus that was coming to the surface there. As they call in medicine, purulent. <laughs> Good. So we really got a lot out of there. Um, once I push a little, nothing's coming to the surface on each level there. That's pretty much everything we're likely going to get. Very small cut, two to three millimeters. We're going to put a little pressure bandage. Oh, that's the way that's seen right there. You probably can see that on the video. Just a little. About the surface. Right here. Was a little bit of cyst wall but it was just right by the pore there we go. that's it that's what I was seeing right there just a little bit of the cyst wall no big deal it's good to get that out I don't think there's anything else that shallow though Pressure bandage we'll put on. Um, well, if you need to lay down a little bit more, we can. You did great. I know it's hot in here. <laughs> it's not just you. <laughs> it is a little warm. Um, and that looks good. So you can see she's starting to get a little bruising just from where we cut. The bump is probably down 75% and it's soft over here now. So a lot of that induration. And it was what I thought when I initially cut and I don't see anything come out. Um, you can go up here if you want. <laughs> When I initially cut and I don't see anything come out, it's usually kind of blown out below or to the left or right. And that one was below and I kind of used something blunt and I pushed right through the lining that was holding that pocket and you could see it all come out. She did have another pocket to the left under where the cyst was and then that one was a little to the right. So when we went back our second time after she felt a little better, we got another pocket out. So she's gonna feel way better. I like to do a quick follow up a week or two if we, could, if we can. Um, just keep the pressure bandage on for 24 hours and you can put a band-aid in gauze and thanks to them for sharing. They did see us on YouTube, which is very cool. I like that we can help people like that. So thanks for popping by. Okay. Mr. Pops it here. This was our neck abscess. We're seven days out. Um, you can see here, she does have a little irritation from the band-aids. We're going to do, um, non-stick pads with a little paper tape. You can also see here about 50% reduction, which is what I expect on a cyst. Because if it's deflated, there's still some cyst par particles in there that will keep a low-grade inflammation going and it'll kind of seep and it's trying to refill. We're going to do a little cantalog injection and then that will kind of settle that down and settle the body's response to the cyst particles and it should dry up completely. Um, every now and then, we do have to do a second IND. We'll know that in the next two or three weeks. If we do, we'll make sure to record it. <laughs> um, but we'll make sure she's feeling good and watch it closely. And hopefully we don't need to do that. From feeling it, I don't think we will. Her induration that was that big response on the edges is about 70% reduced. So that usually means it's on its way down. One little injection will take it the rest of the way. So thanks to her for sharing. Um, and then we'll do a quick follow-up just to make sure this takes care of it. Okay, guys, Mr. Popsid here. This was our large neck abscess from a burst cyst, and we are four weeks out now, and it's looking great. Feeling a lot better. We did a small injection in that IND. We did the IND first, and then she came back, and we did an injection into the pocket. Now, what we see here, and this was where her little os was, they call it, the little hole where that cyst was leaking. A little bit of um, possible, it's reforming there. And we expect that when it's a burst cyst, we never get everything out as we always say. We try to get as much as we can with the least amount of pain possible, but eventually it's gonna try and reform. And so as the next couple months go, when we start feeling that cyst reforming and it's not inflamed and it's nice and dry, we'll numb that up, do a, one of our regular excisions, get the whole thing out and she'll be past this and not have to worry about it again. Um, but you know, this is something that can reform. We're gonna watch it closely. Sometimes we need to do another injection as well if that happens we will but for now it's doing well from the injection it's not hurting her we just kind of leave it and see if the body's going to break down what's remaining in there on its own and if it doesn't we'll do a follow-up so thanks to her for sharing that's a that's what we expect on these large abscesses the big thing is she's sleeping better we want to get the pain away and let the body do its job then so thanks again for popping by